Now, which of the following has fractions in ascending order? Further, we have been uh, given five fractions over here, over here, and we have to make a comparison among them. Friends, in this case, we'll be uh, combining the two methods, that is the comparison of numerator and denominator, as well as the cross multiplication method. Okay, let's begin with the first uh, option. It's 9 into 9, 81, and it is 88. So it's true. Then it is 77 and 81. Further, it is correct. Then it is 9 threes are 27 and 5 sevens are 35. So further, it is correct. Then it is 5 twos are 10 and 3 threes are 9. That means 3 by 5 is smaller than 2 by 3. Okay. So 7 by 9, 9 by 11 and 8 by 9. These three are correct. But 3 by 5 is smaller than 2 by 3. So this option is correct. Okay. It's very simple. Now in this question, which part contains the fraction in fractions in ascending order? So we have been given three fractions, 11 by 14, 16 by 19 and 19 by 21. Uh, now friends, in this case, 11 by 14, the difference uh, between numerator and denominator is 3 and in 16 by 19, still it is 3. So between these two, 16 by 19 will be greater. Now 16 by 19 and 19 by 21. In this case, the difference is 3. In this case, the difference is 2. Still, the numerator is bigger. So, definitely 19 by 21 will be greater than 16 by 19. So, first option itself is correct. Okay, friends. Now, in this question, which of the following are in descending order of their value? Now, let's see from the options. It's 5 by 9 and it's 7 by 11. So, uh, difference between numerator and denominator in both of these cases is 4 so definitely 7 by 11 will be greater now 7 by 11 is greater in by 5 by 9 in these two options okay now let's check which of the following is uh, correct now it's 121 after cross multiplication it is 121 and it is 119 okay now the that means the first order is correct then 15 into 7 105 and 11 into 888 so still it is uh, clear so this 7 by 11 is greater than 8 by 15 now it is 72 and it is 75 that means 5 by 9 is greater than 8 by 15 so this option must be correct okay friends i hope you are clear about the concept in your exam time you can make combination of two three methods and you can eliminate the option and uh, then the problem will be very easy for you to solve